Tomorrow is a huge day for Marvel's Avengers and well they have just gone ahead and released a whole article basically letting us know what tomorrow is going to involve but most importantly they have announced a new enemy that's right we finally have a new enemy in Marvel's Avengers and we actually have a tweak to the prices for basically purchasing skins in the marketplace so all I can say is progression is happening and well we're gonna basically break down everything that they have released and more so as always go ahead and drop a like on this video and hey check out instant gaming they are today's sponsors as always if you want to get yourself some cheap brand new games I use them to get my PlayStation Network cards and a whole bunch more because the prices are just simply unbeatable so go ahead and visit that link as well in in the description below but let's dive into this video I don't want to cover every single topic ie what future imperfect is and you know who Hawkeye is because it basically involves a, like a little section there but I'm guessing that well hey if you watch these videos you know exactly what operation future imperfect is and who Hawkeye is so if you want to find out more information I'll link the article in the description below but the first thing I want to touch up on there isn't actually relevant to myself but I know a lot of you guys are fortunately on the next gen console so, so hey it's one of those things you can brag about I guess right so how do you actually get your next gen upgrade that's the big question so players who own the PlayStation 4 or Xbox one version of the game will be able to upgrade to the full next gen version at no additional cost with that you get updated visuals improved destruction and heroic details significantly faster load times and cross generational play and more now, players who want to upgrade their digital copies must go to their respective platform's digital store and select the free upgrade to start the download. Players with the physical copy must have the next gen console with a disk drive and will insert the disk as part of the upgrade. An upgrade from a physical copy to a digital only next gen console is not available. Now if you want to transfer over your save data from one generation to the next, use the respective cloud system or a USB stick to play right where you left off. If you or a friend don't already have Marvel's Avengers on either the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S, it is also available for purchase right now alongside with physical copies of the game on March 18th. Now, what we know with the big, big update, I mean, it's the biggest update in this game's history that isn't just resolving bugs. It's actually implementing a whole bunch of new content in the game. Now, the first thing is the campaign replay. So what it says is this long-awaited feature is finally here. The campaign replay allows you to replay the entire reassembled campaign right from the beginning. While your data tracking campaign progress will be reverted, you will not lose any play progression like XP, character progress and collectibles obtained up until this point. In the operations picker go to the reassemble campaign and select reset campaign progress to start from the very beginning at a day. We can't wait to see the photo mode shots come out from your replays. Next up is customable harm rooms. This is the big thing. I can't wait for my PlayStation 4 to absolutely be obliterated. I guess you could say obliterated? Obliviated. I don't know what I'm saying, okay, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Um, it's gonna break. I can genuinely see my console break. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna say that I have one bit of hope that it's gonna be able to actually handle the customizable harm rooms. So I guess, hey, it'll be interesting to see what goes down, right? Let's see how many PlayStation 4s uh, and Xboxes, Xbox Ones, should I say, this game can break tomorrow. Uh, but nonetheless, it says customable harm rooms. Many members of the community have expressed the desire to tailor the harm room for a personal superhero training experience. So we have now introduced customizable harm rooms with this patch, which is accessible via the war table. Players can tailor their harm room experience for their needs. After a short tutorial hop in and see what havoc you can unleash available on all platforms now hey if you're on next gen it's going to be a whole lot more fun for you because a your console will probably be able to handle it um <laughs> and b of course the new destruction in the game right on next gen looks absolutely insane like it actually looks like you're making damage which is just going to be insane when you're playing as characters like hulk and so forth so hey 
this is more for you people. I'm still excited, uh, but next gen people, it's where it's at for you, okay? Enjoy it, okay? It's precious. Um, now, in regards to the harm room, they did say, just to recap you guys, that they are working on different locations for it. So, finally, we won't just be in this little, I guess you could say, I don't know, virtual, whatever you want to call it, room, right? Uh, where we'll be doing a harm room. So, we will actually have different locations in the near future. They haven't actually confirmed when, but we know it's a thing. New enemies! This is the big part of the video, alright? Alongside the new currency option. So first of all, the new enemy is called Cargo Runner Synthoid. Now, it says, appearing in various places, the Cargo Runner Synthoid is a new enemy who carries items and will try to run away from any sign of danger. If you manage to chase it down and destroy it, it will basically go ahead and drop its cargo, which contains resources and perhaps more. So keep your eyes open for these new types of enemies. So this is good, I mean, it's not going to be an enemy technically that's going to go back at you, it's going to be an enemy that actually runs away from you, uh, that only basically appears in various places. So it's going to be interesting to see how this looks, I don't know if we'll get a showcase tomorrow anyway, uh, before somebody does find it, or if we'll see something today as well in the live stream they'll be doing. Now, the final thing, oh, and before I go into the currency thing, just a quick thing for you guys who care about Miss Marvel, there's going to be a free outfit for you guys tomorrow, which is the Night Galaxy outfit, uh, which is limited, I believe, to like the 24th of March, so if you care about that character, then hey, it's a big win for you. Now, the new currency options, this is where we are at. It's something that I have been moaning for a long, long time about, and well, we finally have some change. So it says, we'll be introducing two new currency options to provide more choices for players who want to purchase credits. Now, if you know right now, basically any skin, whatever you do, costs you like 14 bucks or 15 bucks, give or take, right? You have to go ahead and purchase a pack, a package, whatever you want to call it. Now, you still have to purchase a package but for a little bit cheaper. So right now you have the incredible credits package, which is basically $9.99, which gives you 1,050 credits. Technically, if you kind of want to put things into perspective, you can get some suits. Some are still worth like 1,200. Uh, but now, instead of like 15 bucks for a suit, you can get one for 10 bucks. Is it good? Is it bad? I guess it's just, it comes down to a big thing, right? Where it's like, I just need a suit to come my way where it's uh, it's like one of those things you just can't avoid where you really like the suit so much that you actually couldn't care what it cost in some sort of way like you couldn't care about the $5 difference that's the situation we're in uh, then you have the magnificent credits package which is the biggest which is 30 bucks and you get 3450 credits now I'm cheap, I'm probably never really going to do that. If anything, I'll wait for there to be more bugs in this update uh, and hope for an apology package where we get some in-game credits, uh, <laughs> which has pretty much been my strategy since the game has launched. So we'll have to wait and see what goes down with that, but I guess there's some difference and five bucks does go a long way in some sort of way, I guess, so it's, it's a change. Let's see how it goes for them, if they can make more sales, if they cannot. Um, but most importantly, if they can actually pump out some really interesting suits, that are not just recolors as well. But guys, leave your thoughts on this stuff. It's patch 1.50 coming tomorrow morning. Nonetheless, it's hype time definitely for Marvel's Avengers. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. And until the next one, adios amigos.